Hey everybody, Pops Cooper here. Um, got a quick project and that's making a wooden spoon, carving a wooden spoon. Uh, I did my hand at one already. Uh, just simple little thing. I made it out of pallet, pallet wood. I'm not sure what the pallet was, where it came from, so uh, it wasn't labeled, so I'm, we're not using this for any kind of consumption. If you guys want to make a make a spoon with pallet wood, you need to make sure that the pallet wood is heat treated only and hasn't been treated with any chemicals or been used with any chemicals. So I'm going to try another one. This was my first spoon right here, and I thought it turned out pretty nice. And so. Uh, Nana over here at livingcooper.com, she's been using this spoon for a long time to make uh, peanut brittle, her favorite spoon for peanut brittle and cooking with and so I'm going to make her a replacement spoon, a new one and I'm going to use a piece of, I'm not even sure what this wood is, um, I'm really not sure, it might be like a red oak but it, it looks a little different to grain. Anyways. So I'm going to use this, and some of you guys might know what kind of wood it is, and uh, you could tell me, leave it down in the comments, I'll let you look at the, there's the end grain, and there's the side grain, and uh, you guys might know uh, what it is, and if you leave me a comment, that'd be great, but I'm going to make her a spoon similar to this, on out of this, and if you guys would like to see what I do, and how I do it, just uh, continue to watch. So first thing I'm going to do here is kind of lay this out on my plank of wood. And there happens to be a nail hole kind of almost right in the way. Luckily, it looks like we're going to be able to miss that. So then I just got a pencil and we're going to trace around this thing. So there's going to be our basic layout. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but that's going to be the basic layout. And then uh, once I get this thing cut out, let's see if we can, we'll kind of draw a inside here. I don't know, about a quarter inch or so. We'll draw this. This is where the bowl of the spoon is going to be roughly. And I'm not very artistic, and I know some people use templates, but I'm just trying to trying to wing it a little more organic if you just wing it. Okay, so that's kind of going to kind of be our shape. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that very well. And then uh, next thing we'll do is kind of cut out around all the edges and. and dig out the bowl. got to start uh, shaving off the edges, the corners, and digging out the bowl. Hey everybody, it's Pops Cooper. I'm back. I, like I showed you earlier, I had this cut out. I had to go get on some comfortable clothes and get the trusty Swiss Army knife. 
and let's see if we can do some whittling on Nana Spoon. gouge from a carving set I got over at Harbor Freight and uh, we'll see how that's going to work. Okay, everybody, so the cheesy gouge from Harbor Freight is not working well. Nana told me you need to buy the right tool before you get hurt. So um, I guess I'm going to get me a, a spoon knife or a hook knife or a gouge and then uh, and I'll come back and finish the spoon. I'll see you later. <laughs>